Hi, I'm Carl Sule from Adobe, a master trainer, and I've been focused on film and television workflows for going on 15 years now. Hi, I'm John Knowles. I'm a video editor and graphic designer, and I've also been a software trainer for the past five years exclusively on Adobe products. John and I really hope you'll enjoy these videos. This video series is designed to teach Premiere Pro in a way that resonates with people coming from other nonlinear editors, such as Media Composer. But don't worry, if you're coming from a different NLE, you'll still find a lot of value in watching these videos. Hopefully you'll see that your editing skills will translate pretty seamlessly into Adobe Premiere Pro, and you'll be able to keep the majority of your muscle memory. Part of this is done by moving into Premiere Pro, and this involves customizing the screens, the layouts, the keyboard shortcuts to kind of fit the way that you like to edit. Now, there are key differences in the way Premiere Pro operates when compared to other nonlinear editors, and some videos will cover those specific differences. This includes things like the way Premiere manages media or how important the sequence settings are in determining things like frame rate and resolution for your exports. We'll dive deep into Adobe Premiere Productions, which is a rich collaborative environment designed to meet the needs of long form documentary and episodic content. And it contains a locking mechanism, which should be very familiar to some of you. You'll learn about motion graphics and how Premiere can work with motion graphic templates, streamlining the way you work with text and graphics in editorial. And you'll also find out about other integrations with Adobe Creative Clouds. Tools like Photoshop and After Effects are first-class citizens working inside of Premiere. We really hope these videos will set you up for success using Adobe Premiere Pro.